The new Goku Day event on Xenoverse 2 has been announced, as you guys can see right here. New Kantan Miyako theme, one Budokai All Sun Goku Limited. And then we also have this right here, May 9th Goku Day. So they do have something going on for us on Goku Day, guys. But I will say it's pretty much the same thing that went down last year. Because last year on Goku Day, we did have a all Goku theme tournament. And the prizes were exactly the same, but it is another opportunity to get that Dragon Ball Super title, guys. Because as you can see right here, first to fifth rank, we'll get the Dragon Ball set, 100 TV medals, and the Dragon Ball Super title. These are honestly the tournaments that, to me, are probably most worth doing because you have five slots and five chances to get into that top five to get that Dragon Ball Super title if you have not in the past. Or if you were on PlayStation when they switched over to the new Kanton City, you may have lost your Dragon Ball Super title. So again, this is another opportunity to get that back if that did happen to you. So these are really, like I said, the only tournaments to me that are really worth it because that Dragon Ball Super title and other titles that you can get from some of them do look really cool when you are in the multi lobbies of Kanton City. Now getting into the dates, guys, of course, it'll be going on from the 9th to the 10th. Um, I don't know exactly what time it'll be starting over here for us in America. I'm assuming sometime early in the afternoon, just like the most recent tournament of power event tournament that we had went down. I believe that one started around like 1 p.m. EST or somewhere around that time. So again, it'll probably be starting somewhere around there for us tomorrow once May 9th does come around. Now getting into the actual other rewards, there's pretty much nothing besides the Dragon Ball Super title as you guys see here. 6 to 10th is just 100 team medals. I mean 11 to 20 is 70 team medals and 21st to 50 is 50 team medals and I believe there's usually always a participation reward. It doesn't say there's one here, but there's usually always one of like 25 or 50 team medals as well. So again, those are the rewards that you can get from the raid, but the main thing like I said before is that Dragon Ball Super title. Now in terms of Goku Day, the only other thing that they're doing for us is well if you log in on goku day you get a whole 59 tv medals yay like what 59 tv medals you serious like th th this is the one thing on goku day i've just never understood like bro what is 59 tv medals gonna do for me like let's be real a damn cc mascot costs 1500 tv medals what is 59 tv medals gonna do for me so again, I just don't understand why they even give the 59 TV medals because it really doesn't help that much to be honest. Like you can play a raid for a good five minutes and get more than that in terms of your damage. If you reach uh, 15K in terms of your contribution, well, then you're already at 100 TV medals from that raid right there. So again, I, I just don't know why they even do that, but that is the only other thing that will be going on for Goku Day on Xenoverse 2. So basically, we got a tournament and we got a login reward of 59 TV medals if we do log in on the 9th, which again is tomorrow, guys. So with that being said, we're going to end the video right here. Let me know if you'll be participating in this Goku Day tournament down below in the comments and just your thoughts on the Goku Day event. Like I said, I don't think it's that great i mean the only reason i'm really talking about this is because of that dragon ball super title it would have been cool if they would have actually changed it up a little bit this year and did something different but hey it is what it is so again let me know your thoughts down below in the comments until next time thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and as always hope you have a good one peace y'all